A tremendous roar for the Japanese anthem. And the whole of the country will be standing still. There is a fly past here. Perfect timing to salute the opening game of this World Cup Finals for the Japanese. Competing for only second time at, at the highest level. What a beautiful playing surface this is in Saitama. Later, of course, Korea kick off their World Cup Finals against Poland. But the spotlight right now is on Japan, on Saitama, on one of the two host countries. And the noise levels are absolutely deafening. And they are underway with 90 minutes of truly important football ahead for the hosts. Good field at Simons that a time. ball was floated in harmlessly as it uh, transpired into the arms of get the flicker they could be uh, an insurmountable prospect they attack here now the ball is whipped across but that's surely much much too long dangerous throw in here into the area it goes corner Nakata himself with the kick that's a very good catch under pressure from the 30 year old de flieger Good progress down the right from Peters. The danger is here. Holding it up stylishly. It broke inside the area. Who didn't follow through? Well, he wrestled his man to the ground and he's given Japan a chance here with this short free kick. May have taken the recipient by surprise as a result of which physical games we've seen so far, I think. Last ball, dangerous ball, but just running beyond uh, the man going in on it well in with a uh, very good left foot down to Peters on the right foot the header just wide the first clear opening and get behind and puts it wide well that would have silenced the crowd inside Tama well Em had played it down the touchline Peters with a perfect cross and Verheyen rising high above the uh, defender The cross is dangerous, and the keeper has to make the first stop. He might have to make another one here. It's up in the air, and it's on top of the net. Narazaki did his job well, though. He's a good shot stopper. That's why he's in the side in place of uh, Kawaguchi. Japan do have an attack going here. Decent try. Flew over the top from Nakata, but only uh, by a couple of feet on first instinct. Knocked down nicely to him by Yanagasiwa. Now there's some defending to do. Verheyen on side. Will curl across in. The first time shot. And the second one well, well wide from Hua. Knows it was a good opening. Bart Hoa, who has scored ten times in 38 appearances for Belgium. It's a lovely ball from him. A very uh, encouraging ball. They've got to take advantage there when the ball in through Michikawa, didn't have much quality about it, they're still getting themselves into bother here, the Belgians though Peters, long throw Belgium looking and uh, the back header is gathered beneath his own crossbar Nakata, that's oh, a good cross an inviting one, the header, off the mark tepid one really and we have gone past the 60 seconds of time added on that we were expecting in fact, the referee does now point to the dressing rooms. It's been uh, an interesting half. Not enough chances, far too many free kicks. Narazaki there made one very effective save. Nakata, well, we've seen his skills, but they've been unable to prize open a resolute and a commanding Belgian defence, which just looks too big for the Japanese. Dangerous now, the ball in here. And as goalkeeper Narazaki came from his line, Wilmot was in. He wasn't offside, he didn't look offside to me. Might be something on here. This next one is crossed into the danger area. The keeper up for it, fumbles, loses it, and was he really fouled? Danger, the keeper hopping around on his line. It hasn't dropped kindly yet, it has now. Belgium score. 
Mark Wilmot, the overhead kick, and the Japanese stadium of Saitama. The crowd is silenced because Belgium lead. Well, it's what they call a deafening silence. It's the last thing the Japanese could afford. It might yet be. But they have to show more attacking flair and instinct. A longer ball from him. There's danger here. A chance of an equaliser. They've got it. What a way to strike back. It's Takeyuki Suzuki. Listen at the noise in Saitama now. They were silent two minutes ago. Now every single voice is roaring its acclaim. And what a way to hit back. It's taken no more than a couple of minutes. Great ball from Inamoto over the top of the Belgian defence, which was static. Suzuki was it? Suzuki's fourth goal for his country. Uh, Peters is taken. Can they get another one? It's in, over the top. Flicked over, the drama unfolding here, intensifying by the minute. And Shinji Ono's... Brown really are getting behind their side now. Oh, and he's gone. He's done fantastically well here. And he's taken on the edge of the area, but there's no free kick this time. Interception good for the Japanese. Opportunity here, Inamoto. Can he finish? He certainly can. Sensational. Junichi Inamoto has sent the whole of Japan absolutely wild with joy. He did it all himself. He's been playing in the English Premier League at Arsenal. Only on the substitutes bench, but he's come to the fore tonight. And he has struck a fantastic goal for his country. Only the second of his entire life. It's 11 minutes ago that they were trailing. They're ahead now, and they really are roaring into the match. Alex again. He's onside here. Belgium are really on the rack. Can they get a third goal here, Japan? Goes for the glory. It's on 57 minutes. Perhaps they just dipped in terms of concentration. They've an opportunity here, but the ball plucked from the air by Narazaki. Van Mier. Good ball over the top. A chance for Belgium to level. They've got their second goal. And this time it's the turn of the Belgians to celebrate a strike by Peter van der Heyden, his first for his country. And again, listen at the silence. This is an incredible match. The World Cup really has come to life here. The Japanese had not dealt with the corner again, and he came from nowhere there. Van der Heyden, and he lifts it in beyond Narazaki. And the whole of Japan is stunned. They thought they were international football, this. Four goals in the space of 18 minutes. Two apiece. He's had a good game, but four now for Belgium. The danger here, but the backhead is forward ball. Cut out this time. Shooting chance over the top. It rises high from the boot of Yanagasawa. Van Meer makes a good tackle, but there is an opening still. Nakata going in for it. Where will it land? It just to his name this past season. This is where they struggle, the Japanese. And although he's twisted on ahead of here, Sonk, the ball has gone straight to Narazaki. And the referee is looking in Emoto. What a night for Ninemoto. And it's ruled out you could tell by the reaction on his face couldn't you there was no smile there there's no smile on the touchline either and the crowd might as well uh, silence their noise alex on the race can he get there in time it's across the goal once twice nobody there to nudge it into the empty net goodness me alex did so well to keep that ball in play so is the Belgian side, too, for him. And they've got an opening here. This could even be a penalty, could it? No, it won't be. Sonk goes to ground. Why, he says. Belgium's corner, disconcertingly for the hosts. It's driven in high. Van Meer's header. It's away by Matsuda. 
kick it towards Nakata, doesn't get through to him. And Belgium may have survived the last Japanese chance. Is that the final whistle? It is. In all, well, a kind of hush descended all over the stadium here in Saitama then. Well, it's on as even, no question about that. The World Cup has really burst into life with this game. It's ended 2-2.